CM Punk comes out for his match against QT Marshall, but MJF comes out instead, and what follows is awesome. It was the 20-minute opening show promo we've complained about for 20 years now, except it was great. A key difference. You're nothing but a less famous Miz, he says. And the city of Chicago goes <laughs> ab so loot Lee bananas. Lowest of all the low blows I've ever heard in the history of this business. And they say, you're not hungry anymore. And Eddie looks down at his plate and points to it and says, I want this cake. <laughs> I laughed so hard. Billy and Colton Gunn versus Bear Country. As a strong, strong bear. So eventually... He's a fucking bear, dude. But even by bear You ever standards, seen a weak bear? <laughs> I haven't. Fozzie? Oh, come on. He's not a real bear. You got me there, Brian. He's not a real bear. <laughs> so... Neither's bear country, you idiot. <laughs> this is not the hill to die on. Move on. Austin. <laughs> I always talk about this guy's speed. And not only was he running fast... I don't know if you guys know anything about physics. Oh, educate us. But when one guy is going really fast one direction... And it's a stationary man. That's bad. When one guy's running one direction and the other guy's running at him and they they clunk into each other, that's more bad. If Darby Allen leaves the tunnel at 2 p.m. at 30 miles an hour. He left the tunnel at 2 p.m. and he hit this guy at 159. <laughs> he actually went backwards in time. Speaking of interrupting yourself, I just realized this light is not on. It's not been on the entire time. It's a switch. What a fucking gimmick. Hang on, it's right there. My bad, everybody. This is the very first NXT 2.0 that I've seen. Wow. This will be the last. <laughs> wow. You know they've been worse. They have definitely been worse. Impossible. Yes. Is Dakota Kai's new thing that she has some kind of nervous tick? Yeah, yes. she's got a tick. Everyone, every time a woman goes crazy in World Wrestling Entertainment, she must do the same twitching and ticking. Okay, That's so what... she's, pa she's part of Team Tick now. Yes, Team Tick. I don't know if there is Captain a Team, of team Tick. tick. That's actually pretty good. That is good. Nobody right. looks like Von Wagner, dude. He looks like Mini Great Khali. He definitely, you would notice him going through the airport. That's for sure. Yes, you would You would suspect smuggling, but you would You would notice him. <laughs> Jesus. Cora Jade interrupts and says, listen, are we really going to do the can we coexist thing? It's boring. It's outdated. Go find a fourth partner while I wrestle. This is a better episode of the show. I this do love when Vince makes fun of his own dumb shit. Why don't you tell Craig how, uh, what a handyman I was? Put up my big uh, screen TV. Did you hang it on the wall or you just put it on something? Put it on a fireplace. She wanted it to be on the ground. And well, then when I put it on the ground, you know what she said? It's too low. Yeah. Well, I said, well, it's on the ground. It Busted sense. out them tools. Yeah, which what did you use, yep. Brian? Myself. Bunch of other tools as well. Yes, yeah, exactly. yes, yes. you're a tool. Yep. Yes, that's yep. true. Thanks for ruining the joke, Craig. If there's yeah. one guy, Craig is like so full of, of jokes. Like you can say yeah. anything and Craig's got a joke for it. Yeah. But if anyone else has a joke, he's got to kill the joke. You ever notice that? You do the same thing. I do no such thing. Are you oh kidding me? Oh, gosh. Vinny, Vinny's over there. He's beset with apoplexy. What did Vince say? I beg your pardon? Lubomir Trianov. Excuse me? Labomir. That's a new one. No, Lou, L-U-B-O. Lubomer. Yeah. Huh. Lubomer? No, not Lou Boner. <laughs> he wants to know what your favorite fruit is. Uh, bananas. bananas. Bananas and peaches. Ironic. Fucking wow. wrote itself. That's amazing. <laughs> wrote itself right there. Granny, if you are front row to see The Undertaker versus Brian, Vinny, and Craig in a one-on-three handicap match, who are you cheering for? Undertaker. Right. Thanks. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. <laughs> Judgment Day. I doesn't have a uh, time or anything. What's well, Judgment so. Day? It's the end of time. It's irrelevant. Yeah. Your yeah. time is up. Yeah, that's true. Al Snow versus Meryl. <laughs> Your time is up. Fuck. Like that, that is the end of the world. Okay. And it all. Uh, that's not false advertising there, buddy. Potter Tress. <laughs> Thank you, Greg. With Nicole Savvy versus M Masseretti. Savvy, trained by Baszler. Let's see who won that one. I forgot. That's the whole review. <laughs> <laughs> I you got to. She was there. trained by, and then well, you give him a score. The Undertaker's character was based on an old West Undertaker. Calloway thought about what fans wanted. His music closed. Death and entrances changed over time. The Repo Man didn't do anything wrong. Randy Savage didn't do anything wrong. I bitched about it, but at the end of the day, for what the guys were doing, God bless them, 
it was fine. Am I wrong? Yes. He does this spot where he's trying to pin the guy belly down, and it's not even the finish. And they keep going. He tries it again. He's still going to figure it out. He keeps going. He does the splash, and now the guy actually is on his back, and he rolls him over to his belly. Fuck off! <laughs> Fuck this! Fuck you! God! Wow, Vinny. Vince McMahon says, Ric Flair will be finishing up his weekend commitments, mm-hmm. and then it's all downhill it's for all him. It's all downhill for Which, Ric of course, Flair. we're talking about him going to WCW, but I was amazed that they were like, we've advertised this guy, and so we are going to give you what we advertised. Whereas nowadays, they could not possibly give a fuck less about whether they advertise something and deliver. Miro is somewhere. <laughs> He's in the same white background where Sean O'Hare was cutting his Devil's Advocate promos on SmackDown. He's just in a white void. Lee Moriarty is whipping Punk's ass. MJF is burying Punk for it. And the more I watched this, the more I thought, you know what? MJF is right. You could argue that MJF has a point. But, you know, Punk's also got his own comeback, which is I'm still winning. Like, it's taken a while, but I, I'm not losing. I like this storyline. If I were you, he says, I wouldn't bring that disgusting, flea-ridden maggot of a dog around anymore. Because if you do, I'll put Larry to sleep. Not one time in the history of wrestling has some bloke went backstage and killed someone's dog. Big boss man. Oh, come on. That wasn't backstage anyway. Tony had it on his pad. Remember that pad they had that uh, all yes. the matches? The notorious it, Tony Khan it, it pad. It had CM Punk versus Wardlow gotcha. on the pad. And at the time, I was like, why the fuck are we having CM Punk versus Wardlow? Fans are super into, in particular, the Icon Sting versus the badass Billy Gunn. Well, yeah, because... Because it's 25 years ago now, but it's still Nitro versus Raw, and, and, and they never saw it before. So Andrade goes essentially near the flaming table on his face. Cody ends up going through the fire more. He crawls over to make this cover, and he's on fire. A giant fist-sized thing of fire fell off Cody onto Andrade's chest. There you go, then. And you can see it takes a second for Andrade to realize he's on fire. Yes. Because all of a sudden he starts slapping his chest, and he's flopping around as he gets pinned. While being covered, he's doing this. Yes. And nothing is happening because the ref is afraid to get close to them (laughs) because they're on fire. I ain't lighting myself on fire for these people, Vinny. No. In fact, I asked him for an extra $1,000 just to wear a whale costume. I think there's three theories. And so the third theory is uh, someone gave COVID to an animal because animals can get COVID from humans. Okay. And then it evolved within this animal population And then it went from the animal to the human again in mid-November. Which would mean that the original COVID-19 and Omicron both came from animals. Hence my belief that we need to get rid of these animals. That was, okay. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Sure. These animals seem to be causing some problems. We watched NXT 2.0. I tried. It's Dakota Kai versus Kaylee Ray in a ladder match where the winner's team... Guess the advantage in war games. That was a really good match, especially by NXT 2.0 standards. And then it hit me. The babyface team. Yes. Of course. Has the advantage in war of games. Of course. It never works. You ever notice that? You ever notice that like sometimes things never work, but people still keep doing them? I should tell that animal joke again just to... Uh... It was a joke? Of course it was a joke. You think I want to get rid of all animals? What am I going to eat? Okay, you got me there. <laughs> That's true. You would never call for death to wag you. Except, I got it in the end. Brian, I'm not laughing with you. <laughs> Cameron Grimes photoshops with different haircuts. First one I thought was pretty clearly Tanahashi. Second one was Nakamura. It's a hair match and half of the hairstyles are long hair. Yes. <laughs> like, Just grow his hair can't on even this. do this right. No. This guy is so good given his level of experience. It's Actually, kind of scary. Sure. Like, I'm trying to think of if even like a Kurt Angle was that good 11 matches in. This show opened with an awesome ladder match and it closed with an awesome ladder match. I give the show, Brian, a thumbs up. So NXT is followed by a new show on the USA Network called Chucky. It's about the murderous doll from the Child's Play movies. NXT goes off the air and I hear a child's voice say, previously, on fucking Chucky. (laughs) You can't say that on television. 